Chapter 34 Then Moses went to Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab, and climbed Pisgah Peak, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land from Gilead as far as Dan, all the land of Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah extending to the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev, the Jordan Valley with Jericho, the city of Palms, as far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to Moses, This is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I told them I would give it to their descendants. I have now allowed you to see it, but you will not enter the land. So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, just as the Lord had said. He was buried in a valley near Beth Peor in Moab, but to this day no one knows the exact place. Moses was one hundred twenty years old when he died, yet his eyesight was clear, and he was as strong as ever. The people of Israel mourned thirty days for Moses on the plains of Moab until the customary period of mourning was over. Now Joshua son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him and did everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. There has never been another prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. The Lord sent Moses to perform all the miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh, all his servants, and his entire land. And it was through Moses that the Lord demonstrated his mighty power and terrifying acts in the sight of all Israel.